looking at this day for Richard Hooker, I think that I think that I might have gotten along pretty well with him. Uh, Richard Hooker, of course, is credited with the middle way that we celebrate um, the Via Media um, that we celebrate here uh, within the wider Anglican communion because uh, he accepted uh, having this middle way between Protestantism and Catholicism, which really brought in this idea of Anglicanism that we now have. So getting all of the isms in there. But also we see in Richard Hooker, um, we see e even in, in this idea of, of finding this middle way of between the isms, which uh, we think now might have been more about getting away from the extremism of the Puritanism. But he also was a great, uh, Richard Hooker was a great theologian in the church, um, still very much revered for that. Uh, he had a particular love of Aristotle, which as a St. John's student, having read a lot of Aristotle, I love. Another reason I think I would have gotten along well with him. Uh, and we hear of Richard Hooker as really going out there and proclaiming the truth, being about finding the truth and, and embracing that even in the midst, as we heard in our call it today, of all the controversies that were around him. Another thing that Richard Hooker is also known for is his love of and his emphatic emphasis on the importance of using and, and his own, uh, what he got out of his own use of the Book of Common Prayer, which is something that I hope that I have uh, shared with you all here at St. Luke's in my time with you. But going back to those controversies, going back to finding that truth in them, if there's nothing else that you take away from Richard Hooker, if there's nothing else that you take away from today, it's his focus on the truth. It's his love for the truth and proclaiming that truth. That's what we really hear about in the gospel that we, we read this morning. And it's why that particular gospel is so fitting for this day, that speaking of the truth, because that's really ultimately what it's about for all of us, is going out there like Richard Hooker, like so many others before him and so many others after him, going out there and proclaiming the truth, the truth of our Lord Jesus Christ, the truth that Jesus came down into this world, that God came into this world to be with us, to be one of us and to die for us so that we wouldn't have to die anymore. So if you don't take anything else away from Richard Hooker today, if if you don't remember that middle way between Protestantism and Catholicism, if you don't remember that love and use that he had for the Book of Common Prayer, remember the truth. Remember that call to proclaim the truth. Because that's not just something for people like Richard Hooker, people who can write about these things, who know about these things, who take the time to learn about these things of the church, these things of God. But instead, the call to spread the truth, to spread the truth of the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ is something that we all as Christians are called to do.